Hi, this is John Broadhead with Roland Systems Group. We're here today to talk a little bit more about the Roland VC1 series of video converters. So let's specifically look at the SDI to HDMI and then the reverse HDMI to SDI unit. We want to uh, really focus though on what sets them apart. We know you have uh, lots of choices out there when it comes to converters and these type of converters. Uh, so what makes the, the Roland uh, units stand out? First of all, uh, let's look at connectors. HDMI in and through, as well as SDI two outputs on the HS unit. On the SH unit, we've got our SDI in as well as through, and we have our HDMI out. What really uh, is a second point that sets them apart beyond the fact that the SDI handles your 3G level A and B, your 1080p family, um, fully supported, is the audio. The audio side is both embedding and de-embedding. A number of units, you get one or the other. Or you get an RCA jack or a mini jack. Uh, we support, support the TRS balanced audio in or out, as well as digital ASEBU. Uh, input and output. So both embedding and de-embedding. So what are the examples um, that, some examples that can be, uh, in which these can be used? So uh, first of all, your HDMI to SDI. Being able to take, as you can see here, uh, graph, uh, camera, graphic inputs, iPad, uh, great consumer cameras out there at HDMI. Some of them do a great job. Plug those in be able to monitor that with a larger monitor, because uh, sometimes the viewfinder isn't so big, it's hard to get focus. So plug that camera in to a monitor through, and then SDI through to a mixer, uh, perhaps. And the SDI, because it's reclocked, uh, can run a long distance and, and, and give you a really, quite an incredible image. Um, as well, you can use your SLR cameras uh, in a production situation where they don't particularly have great audio, but plug HDMI in to an SDI source, plug your audio from say a field recorder or a better audio source in and then embed that into the SDI signal and then record that to some SDI record deck. Um, so great, great way to use your HDMI to SDI converters. Uh, for your SDI to HDMI, again, you can take an SDI source run that through to a mixer, uh, be able to monitor it, uh, but also then uh, run the audio from that SDI source into, say, uh, a mixer. So perhaps you have an SDI playback deck of some kind that you need to get into um, a presentation system of some kind. Um, as well, being able to take any kind of uh, SDI uh, device and throw it into an HDMI mixer. Roland has a, a V4EX, a V40 HD, all are HDMI-based mixers, and it allows you to have uh, perhaps a, a single camera or some kind of SDI source that you need to get into an HDMI format. Great box to have. Another point that really sets these apart, though, is what we call lossless conversion. What you stick in is what you actually get out. So let's take a closer look at what we really mean by lossless. So on the screen here, we have a test pattern. First one is a ramp. Uh, you can see the original source image coming in at 1080. And now we're just gonna switch between the uh, original source and the Roland unit. Back and forth, see no difference. You can see the waveform that is on the screen. You can see as we switch, there is no difference. You can see the, what we call super blacks and super whites, where it's going below zero and above black, so you have the full uh, spectrum there. Now when you switch to uh, another model of converter, you can see the waveform changes quite noticeably, and that's because it's in a, a different color space. That's the RGB space. Uh, so that's quite different, it's not lossless. Uh, if we switch to another uh, brand, then you can see that it's close, but notice that the super black, super whites are missing. So it compressed. So as, as you see, we do a, a, a white pattern here. 
you can see that the lower end and high ends are, are kind of compressed because they're missing those low blacks and high whites from the pattern. Let's switch to a burst pattern now and also look at our vector scope. And this shows the uh, color in that, in that way. So uh, let's uh, look at the source and now look at the Roland unit. You can see there's no difference between the two. If we uh, switch to another model, you can see the vector scope gets uh, more cramped again because this is due to a different color space. So again, not uh, normal there. Um, as well, let's move to another brand. You can see the, um, the vector scope is the same, but notice that everything shifted now. And that's because this particular converter actually shifts at a pixel. That's very critical when you're dealing uh, with important uh, piece of information that may be on the far right part of the screen. So with that, this is really uh, what, what we mean by lossless. Another point is the build quality. Uh, you see uh, a two millimeter uh, aluminum construction, really solid and rugged, but more importantly, how the connectors are attached. We have uh, screwed the connectors right to the chassis or, or bolted them down here. You can see on the quarter inch type inputs. Uh, as opposed to some other solutions out there where the only way the connector is attached is to the solder points on the printed circuit board. You plug stuff in and out enough times, uh, that's going to fail on you. So the build quality, the heat dissipation doesn't get too hot. Uh, another important factor in the solution. As far as controlling the unit, you've got dip switches here on the side that are easy referenceable on the back panel. This is a very quick way to decide you know, whether you want digital or analog audio input. Uh, if you want even more control, then you can see this USB connector here on the other side where you can get Windows or Mac uh, software downloadable from the Roland Systems Group site. Uh, it's our remote control software, RCS for short. And in that, you can see here in the graphic how much more control you have. For example, controlling your analog audio levels to a greater extent. So you have uh, quite a bit of power in these two particular products that set it apart. So really, uh, what, what are the differences? It's the 3G SDI, uh, full support for level A and B. The audio de-embedding and embedding on both units for your balanced high quality audio, analog or digital. Uh, on your HS unit, you have your HDMI through. Uh, great monitoring tool. And on your uh, uh, SH unit, you have your SDI uh, sec uh, through as well. So those uh, points that you can see there on your screen is the fact uh, that none of the other uh, solutions out there can can claim those points. And that's some of the reasons why the Roland HS and the SH video converters uh, stand apart. So for more information, make sure you check out our microsite at vc1series.com.